collect great people in your professional life. You can never have enough because you're gonna run into Eeyores and you're gonna run into people who are gonna leave. Find those amazing Tiggers, bring them into your life. Limit the Eeyores, make your life happy, make it wonderful because at the end of the day, you're gonna succeed or fail to your optimum capacity or your floor based upon the people you spend time with, particularly in your practice. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Your 5-Minute Friday. I'm Dr. Glenn Krieger here, and I want to talk to you today about happy people. Yes, happy people. Now, we're around a lot of people in our lives, right? We have family, friends, and I've been thinking about this a lot recently. You know, in life, there really are only two types of people, right? And if you're a Winnie the Pooh fan, it's Eeyore or Tigger, right? Tigger's bouncing off the walls, happy, upbeat, always smiling, you know, with, the, with that cardinal laugh of his. And then there's Eeyore, where the sky is falling, people are sad, terrible things are gonna happen, I don't wanna do that, bad things will occur. And in our lives, whether it's in our practices, in our personal lives, the people we spend time with, our family members, there's gonna be Tiggers and there's gonna be Eeyores, right? We know that. There are gonna be people who are gonna, you're gonna have breakfast with them and you're gonna wanna go attack the day and kill it and do amazing things because they get you motivated and happy and they make you feel good about yourselves. And then there are the people where life is never good and having breakfast with them is a chore. You don't wanna be there. You're always trying to make them see the positive side of things. Now, a couple of things I wanna talk about here because you know they're important. Number one, there's an old saying and I'm gonna ruin it. So please bear with me as I try not to destroy this. I didn't write it down, but I had it on my wall in my dental practice literally over 20 years ago. And it said, life is like a grindstone. Whether it grinds you down or polishes you up depends upon what you're made of, which is a great saying, right? If you're easily worn down, you're gonna get beaten up by it. And if you're um, a gem, you're gonna get polished. And the people you spend time with are grindstones, some of them. Uh, some are gonna polish you up, some are going to grind you down. And it's important to always remember that you wanna surround yourself, obviously, with people who are gonna polish you, who are gonna make you better, make you stronger, make you more valuable in life, make you achieve more, make you take care of yourself more. And at the end of the day, you know, as I tell my kids and have told them for years, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So are you seeking out the tiggers in the world so you can be happy, positive, upbeat? Too many of them in your life can be problematic, right? Because you know, you could, uh, you could be just high on life in a way that may not be founded, right? You could have a, 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 an unreasonable expectation of what's gonna happen in life. If all people do is smile and be happy all day long, it's wonderful. But you don't appreciate the sunshine without a little bit of rain, right? And if you're around Eeyores all day, that could be a sign that you're trying to fix people, right? I've known more than one or two people who were always in relationships and always had best friends who were just wearing them down, whether it was personal life issues, relationship issues, business issues, money issues, you know, and, and the sadness that they bring to the table all the time made it very difficult for a lot of my friends. And so, number one, I want you in your practice to look for those Eeyores to find them in your life. Now, in your personal life, it's hard. If your mother or your father is an Eeyore who wears you down all the time, who uh, always has a complaint, hey, just went to that new restaurant down there. Oh, I heard it's always crowded. Eeyore, right? Hey, I, I wanna go see that new movie. Why do you wanna go to a crowd? We can watch it at home, right? You know, if you got Eeyores in your life, even if it's mom or dad, limit your time with them. You're not doing anybody a favor by spending more and more time around somebody who's negative. Now, it doesn't mean you should give up on them. It doesn't mean you should try to help them get out of it. But go to any therapist and they will tell you being around toxic relationships or people who bring you down is not necessarily a good thing. So be around these people, but limit it. Eliminate the Eeyores you can out of your life. If you have a friend who every time you're around them, all they are is a problem. Don't view it as, well, they need me in their life. You know what? You're gonna get worn down at some point and it's gonna pull positivity from you. So in your personal life, you figure out who you can and who you can't bring into your life without it impacting you negatively. But in your professional life, particularly if you own a practice or business, you have the opportunity to weed out those Eeyores. I would rather work shorthanded than have that Eeyore be a toxic piece of my team at lunch, at morning meetings, in the evenings. And don't think you can't live without them, you can. 
easily. Trust me, anybody who's practiced a decade or two or longer will tell you, get rid of the Eeyores and life gets better for everybody instantly. And the big mistake I make is holding on to them too long. So I'm telling you, jettison them, get rid of them, talk to them, be honest, give them a chance. And when they don't change, because inevitably they don't, jettison them, get rid of them and make it clear to them that unless they change, you're going to have to let them go and hire Eeyores. I don't care if you don't have an opening. There was a recent thread on entrepreneurs where people talked about, I hire for specific positions. No, hire specific people. Keep them in your practice. Find a place for them as a placeholder. Say, hey, Susie, I got to tell you, you're the greatest server I've ever had in my life. Are you looking for a career change? Would you love to be in an ortho practice? Yes, great. I'm going to find you a position. I guarantee you, if the person who served me today is the person in my practice, you're going to move up the chain quickly, but I have to find you a spot. So come on Monday morning. Let's find you a position. Let's put you in a spot of responsibility. I want you to shine and we'll move you up the chain. Collect great people in your professional life. You can never have enough because you're going to run into Eeyores and you're going to run into people who are going to leave. Find those amazing tiggers, bring them into your life. Limit the Eeyores, make your life happy, make it wonderful because at the end of the day, you're going to succeed or fail to your optimum capacity or your floor based upon the people you spend time with, particularly in your practice. And your patients are going to refer more patients when they're around tiggers all day than when they're around Eeyores and they can sniff it out a mile away. So don't be afraid. Always make the right choice. Surround yourself with remarkable people and only great things are going to happen. Much love to each and every one of you. I hope to see you at Orthopreneur Summit 2023. Sign up at opsummit2023.com. It's remarkable how filled it already is. I can't wait to see you. Have a great day.